Kentucky rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, my loves, and welcome back into my kitchen. My name is Gabrielle Reyes, AKA One Great Vegan. And my loves, today we are making some beautiful rainbow tastic and flavorful rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. So you're gonna feel all this flavor from the peanut, from this wonderful vegan tuna we're gonna make out of tomatoes, my loves. So the first thing we have to do before we assemble all of these beautiful, wonderful, colorful, and delicious ingredients is wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands before you get to cooking. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands before you get to cooking. Y'all look how soapy and suds. Y'all I'm getting my hands. Mm, and this smells really, really delicious as well. So this is gonna be a very hands-on recipe today, my loves. Basically, we're gonna do it in three steps. First things first, we're gonna boil up our tomatoes, put it in a nice hot bath, and then we're gonna put it into an ice bath, and then after that, we're gonna make that marinade, let it soak on up in there, then we're gonna make that peanut sauce, and then assemble, my loves. So y'all get ready to cook alongside with me and make this fabulous recipe. All right, so like I said, the first thing we have right here, get yourself a nice hot pot of water and get yourself a nice ice bath as well. So basically I've just filled a gigantic bowl with some ice and I have some hot water here. So what I've done is I have two big tomatoes. You can honestly use any tomato size, but I suggest using a big tomato just because that's just gonna make your life easier when you make in this and it's gonna be easier to like take out all the seeds as well. So what you're gonna do is pop your tomatoes into your hot water. I'm gonna put this back on the heat as well just because it's still getting nice and hot and boily up in there. So for about five to like eight minutes, you're gonna let that boil and you'll start to see the skin start to come off of the, uh, the outside of the tomato and that's when you know it's time to pop it into your ice bath but while we're letting that cook and get nice and hot and let that skin come off what we're going to work on is that marinade my loves so this marinade is key when you are making this tomato tuna this is just going to give all those flavors that seasoning that spice y'all know how it is season it is everything season it is everything Whoa. making anything that you're trying to replicate meat so I tell people all the time if you're trying to make tuna if you're trying to make pulled pork if you're trying to make beef whatever chicken go in with the seasoning which is what we're gonna do today so the key elements of this marinade this miraculous marinade if you will is gonna be some liquid aminos and you can use coconut aminos if you want to I'm adding in about two tablespoons of my liquid aminos I would say that you don't want to go too in with the liquid aminos because sometimes it could be too overpowering to the tuna. So like I said, two tablespoons or less and then get yourself some organic rice vinegar. Sometimes I like to get the kind that has um, some garlic at the end of it, but we're adding our own garlic in that peanut sauce. So get about three tablespoons of your rice vinegar and this is all going to go together and all this flavor is going to sink into that tomato tuna we're making. Now I found that this right here is key, especially when you're making this marinade. This is sesame oil and oh my goodness y'all. Oh, give yourself a sniff. Smell all that. Smell that sesame oil. She smells perfect. She's the perfect way to start off anything that you want to have like that kind of fishy taste to it. Some people, you know what, they're not crazy about that fishy taste. I used to hate that fishy taste, but once I realized I could use like tomato tuna or I can use like nori or kelp powder to like recreate flavors that I once loved, boom, easy breezy beautiful. 
All right, so like I said, get yourself some sesame oil. I'm adding in about one and a half tablespoons. Sesame oil, sesame oil, sesame oil, sesame oil, sesame oil, sesame oil, sesame oil. Okay, like I said, adding that in, and I'm making a pretty decent, I used a lot of that sesame oil, okay? I am making a pretty decent amount of my tomato tuna just because I'm going to be using it for some poke bowls, some noodle bowls. I'm going to be using it in a bunch of different recipes aside from these summer, these springy, these just delicious rainbow-tastic rolls we'll make in today. Rainbow tuna summer roll, feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer roll, feel the flavor in your soul. Yes, you won't feel the flavor. Trust and believe. And part of the reason you are going to feel that flavor is because we're adding in maple syrup. Y'all know I'm obsessed with adding in that little bit of sweetness into a nice marinade. So I would say no more than half of a tablespoon. That way you're going to add in that nice little bit of sweetness. We're also going to get some sweetness from that peanut dipping sauce as well. So this right here, my loves, is a Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. You can also get some kelp powder or you can get some nori sheets. Both are going to do just fine in this recipe. I'm adding in about one and a half tablespoons of this bone. And this is going to add in that true fishy, fishy flavor, my loves. All right. So there we go. Our marinade is done. And all we have to do now is just whisk her on up. And then we're going to cut up our tomatoes and let this soak on in. All right. Whisk it up, whisk it up, whisk that marinade up, whoa. Whisk that marinade up for that tomato tuna. All right. Oh, y'all, this already smells incredible. I don't add any salt or pepper into this just because it already has all that flavor. And we're going to be adding a little bit of salt and pepper in the rest of the recipe too. So there we go. There is our marinade. Let's check in on our tomatoes. And yup, just like I thought, the skin is coming off beautifully. Beautifully, my loves. All right, so I'll let y'all check out how these tomatoes are looking with the skin popping on off. Let me bring this on over so I don't drip all over everywhere. Check it out, my love. So you can see the skin is starting to peel off of the tomato. And that's going to give you that tuna texture that you want. So now what I'm going to do is pop these into my ice bath and it's going to help that skin just peel on off like it wasn't even supposed to be there. So like I said, tomato, hot water into the ice bath. And we're going to use this hot water for a couple other things. So let this sit on over to the side. Keep her nice and boily and bubbly and fabulous. But meanwhile, these are going to get nice and de-skinned, my loves. All right, so there we go with that. Let's let these, let's actually see, they might actually be ready to already peel off. <gasps> yes, it is. You wanna see, what was that? The video is off, the sound is off on IG. Oh, on Instagram, the sound is off. That is so interesting. Well, let me figure that out while I am taking off this tomato skin. All right, oh, she is nice and hot and bubbly and boily. All right, so. My love told me, so if y'all don't know, my love's up in here that's eventually gonna be on YouTube. So I also stream on Instagram as well as, let's see, where's the sound gonna come from? Rainbow tuna summer roll. That kind of defeats the purpose of uh, having a musical cooking class. So if on Instagram, if y'all can tell me if you can hear me, that would be fabulous. Just put that in the comments. I, so far, I see it says no sound, no sound, no sound. Let's see, my love, do you mind checking in and seeing maybe on yours? Rainbow tuna summer rolls, feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer rolls, feel the flavor in your soul. Can you hear me? Whoa, no? Still cannot hear me. All right, well, my Instagram loves, I'm gonna dip on out real quick and maybe it'll come back. All right, so hold on just a second. All right, y'all, this is how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you get that technical difficulties. 
but that's okay and that's all right. This is all part of the process of making food, telling stories, singing songs, and doing what we do, baby. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna try this one more time. Looks like the sound is on for this. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in you so. Whoa. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Yes. Hey, come on, sound. Hey, hey. Rainbow tuna. Whoa. Rainbow tuna. Whoa. Feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. All right, so now that we can all hear what's happening in today's class, what I have done so far, my love, I have had some hot water boiling. I put my tomatoes into my hot water and then I put it in a nice ice bath. And now we got some naked tomatoes right here. Look at these. They are indecent, but that's okay. We're all supposed to be naturally naked anyways. So like I said, the next thing we're going to do is remove those seeds. So let me get myself a knife and you can do this a bunch of different ways, honestly. I found that kind of doesn't really have to be perfect. Um, just kind of take out the seeds in whatever way makes sense to you. I'm going to go around the outside of the seeds and I'll show y'all too. I'll show y'all how, how the pieces end up looking on this. So cut out all of those seeds. If some of the seeds say, and that's okay and that's all right. But the main thing, oh yeah, this is the main kind of structure you want. That outside skin of the tomato. So check it out. This is what's gonna turn into our tomato tuna. So as I am cutting out the skin and taking out all those seeds, I am going to marinate this in that sauce I made earlier with all that delicious seasoning and spices. So take your pieces right there and you're just gonna start marinating this. And honestly, it doesn't need to marinate for too long. You can do it for, I would say, honestly, you get the flavor in after five minutes, but we're gonna work on a couple other things. So we'll get that extra marinade on in there today. It's really delicious after a couple hours because all of that flavor just soaks on in perfectly. So like I said, we are taking out all of our seeds. We are creating these little pieces of tuna. And obviously if you have the bigger the tomato you got, the bigger a piece of that tuna that you can mimic as well. So I think I have all of the skin from that tomato. And what's great too is you can use that tomato for another sauce if you want to. You can use it for like a, um, a marinara, especially if you wanna make a hearty marinara too. These extra pieces of tomato are perfect my loves okay so here comes off that tuna skin we are making and it's crazy because y'all this stuff really looks tastes feels like tuna like the kind that you will put in the sushi y'all it's kind of wild but i also love it because it's just seasoning and spices and plants my loves all right so here we go we have the last piece of that skin we are removing and I suggest putting it into a container that can close. That way you can make sure all that soaking deliciousness gets on in there and you don't, nothing seeps on out. So there we go. Our pieces of tuna are ready. They're going to be soaking on in there, my loves. So check it out, check it out. See, in there we got our pieces of our tuna. Boom, there she goes. And these are gonna soak in all of that, that sesame oil and all that liquid aminos. Oh, it's gonna be fabulous, my loves. All right, so leave this over to the side. Next, we're gonna make that peanut sauce. It's gonna go in for our dipping as well. So the ingredients you're gonna need for this, actually, let me move this on out the way because your girl needs to get some other things going. Whoa. All right. So, got myself a nice clean place to cook now. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be moving on to that peanut sauce, and we're also gonna be cooking up those noodles. Rice noodles are the easiest noodles to cook because literally you can pop them into some hot water for like five minutes. Sometimes it's like two minutes, it feels like, and boom, out come what you need in your life. 
All right, so to make your peanut sauce, you're gonna need a blender, and all you gotta do is just put all of your ingredients inside of your blender, blend it on up, and boom, you got peanut sauce. It's so simple, my loves. So the ingredients you're gonna need, you're gonna need some rice vinegar, pour that on in, and I'm adding in about two tablespoons of my rice vinegar. I don't know where the top of her went, but that's okay and that's all right. And then I have some lime juice, my loves. So add in some lime juice, about one and a half tablespoons. If you want to, you can add in more. It depends on if you really like that liminess. And then right here I have some fresh garlic that I've just taken the peel off. Boom. Ooh, and she's gonna make this so zesty. I would say about one and a half tablespoons of some minced garlic or just some garlic if you're doing it inside the blender, my loves. And then, oh, ginger, 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 ginger. I love ginger. I love ginger. Ginger is number one, so good for you. I mean, the amount of things that it helps you with, especially if you're like feeling under the weather, if your immune system ain't doing so cute, get yourself some ginger. And we're gonna be putting it inside of this recipe. I keep putting my knife somewhere and I have genuinely no idea. Typically I just have my knife out, but today, not today, not today I guess girl. So I'm adding in just a little piece of some ginger. And like I said, all of these seasonings and spices are just gonna be dynamic and flavorful and fabulous, my loves. So the other ingredients we're gonna need, obviously, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. I am adding in about three tablespoons of my peanut butter. I mean, she is the main event here. And what's fierce about this recipe, if you do not have peanut butter or you can't eat peanut butter, that's okay and that's all right you can use sunflower seed butter you can use that sunflower seed butter especially if you're allergic that just makes your life a little bit easier and also i mean at the end of the day sunflower seeds are actually a little bit healthier for you so if you're looking for that situation in your life there you go so we're also going to be adding in some garlic powder and some onion powder, about two teaspoons of each of them. So add that on in. And then, my loves, we're going to add in some zestiness, some spiciness as well. So in goes our onion powder, about one half of a tablespoon, one, two teaspoons, one half tablespoon. It don't really matter, to be honest. I love the garlic powder and the onion powder just because it enhances everything. But for me, you all know I go heavy in with my seasoning. And same thing we're gonna be doing with some red chili pepper. I am adding in about one half tablespoon of some red chili pepper. And this is gonna give it that real, so actually, you know what, I'm just gonna add the rest of this in there. <laughs> this is gonna give it that nice sriracha flavor. You want that chili flavor. If you don't have red chili flakes, you can use some sriracha too. In fact, I'm gonna put on a little squeeze of this just to add in variety and everything. Next, add in a splash of your liquid aminos. And it's just gonna have, like I said, y'all, we just added in dynamic, dynamic, dynamic flavors, my loves. And that's it. If you want to, you can add in a little bit of some pepper. I typically, I don't add in salt just because, you know, there's already salt in the liquid aminos. And that's just not my style. I'm gonna add in a little bit more of my rice vinegar just to make sure that that peanut butter gets going and glowing. So it's time to blend it up, my loves. All you do now is just blend it up, blend it up. All right. Peanut butter 
just because I want it a little bit thicker. And y'all know I'm obsessed with peanut butter too. I'll be eating peanut butter all day, every day, baby. All right, so let me add in a little bit more of my peanut butter. And then I'm just going to let this blend on down a little bit more. All right. and then assemble everything. So my loves, the noodles I'm using today are gonna be some thin rice noodles or vermit, I can never pronounce this word y'all, I'll be real with you. Vermicelli, vermicelli. That's, I'm just gonna sing it and sometimes that's easier for me to pronounce it than actually trying to like say out the words. So I'm gonna be using these rice noodles or rice sticks as they call them. And I will tell y'all right now, these things can get so messy, things can get crazy in your kitchen. So when you're opening these, I suggest you open it over your sink. So come on with me, my children. I'm gonna be opening these up on over the sink. And I'm just taking out a piece of it. Like I told you y'all, these pieces just exploded everywhere. I am taking a nice big chunk of my rice noodles and then I'm going to be adding it into that hot water that I got boiling right here. And I'm trying to move this on over so y'all can see these noodles getting boiled, bubbly, and delicious. So there we go. You can use as much or as little of this recipe as you want to, my loves. That's what's great. If you don't have all the vegetables, if you don't got all the ingredients, Use what you got, make this peanut sauce, get that tuna, the tomato tuna going, and then, you know, use your imagination. So as you can see, these are already starting to cook down real nice, and these are gonna go inside of our rainbow tuna summer rolls. So let's let that cook on over there to the side, and y'all, let's get our vegetables ready to fill on up our summer rolls. All right. Oh, there she goes. Like I said, she is a messy, messy one right here. All right, so I always like to get myself uh, a nice clean space to create my rainbow tuna summer rolls. And basically, you're gonna get dip in your rice paper. Also, fun fact, you can fry this rice paper and use it as like a fun garnish. There's so many things you can do with rice paper. Honestly, I should just do a whole separate video on what you can do with rice paper. Man, the possibilities are endless. So, for, but for this recipe, for these rainbow tuna summer rolls, we're gonna be dipping them in some hot water, getting them nice and malleable, and then we're gonna lay down all of those other vegetables, our tuna, and all those other things. So check that out. And we'll be able to do that as soon as these noodles are done cooking on us. So we got our peanut sauce ready. Oh yeah, she is like the perfect thickness, y'all. Oh, look at her. Oh, I don't want to spill her everywhere, but she is, she is perfect. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, she is a dream. She is a dream. She is spicy, but like that back of your throat spicy. It makes you say, hey, spicy, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so our noodles are pretty much almost done, my loves. So let's check in on our tuna, see how she been doing marinating in all of her miraculousness. Oh, she smells so fabulous. Let's look at her. Rainbow tuna, whoa, rainbow tuna, whoa. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Look at the tuna that we made. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. Well, we got deep soulful for that one right there, my loves. Check it out. Check it out. I wish I could eat these, but I want to use them for all of the summer rolls. So I could just smell it. I had some yesterday and I also got more tomato than I'm probably gonna make with this. So y'all check this out. This is made out of tomato, gluten-free, vegan too. 
And if you don't want to use um, liquid aminos, if you're avoiding soy, use coconut aminos. It gives it the pretty much the exact same flavor. I would just not use maple syrup if you're using coconut aminos because coconut aminos are a little bit sweeter. So there we go. And there we glow, my loves. All right, so y'all, I believe we are ready to assemble. So I'll get Ace Anderson to take a few photos in a little bit. But here are our rice noodles. I'm trying to make sure this doesn't spill. Here we go. I'll show y'all like this. Ah ha ha ha. Rice noodles, rice noodles. These are gonna be a nice, good helping of filling that are gonna go inside of our summer rolls. I'm just gonna help it just be filled with delicious things, y'all. It's gonna be good. Sometimes I add on like a teriyaki sauce or put these um, in a little bit of liquid aminos or something just to give it a little bit more essence. But we got the tuna, we got so many things going on in here. Honestly, we don't really need that, so that's okay. All right, so let me get my things set on up and I'll show y'all the vegetables and a little bit of fruit I got going in here as well. So, all right, like I said, we have our rice paper right here. I'm gonna put that on over here. That way I can roll it on in. Man, she only pulled that out. Rainbow tuna summer roll. Feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. I'm always feeling flavor in my soul though. So this recipe, he technically, isn't that much of a difference but y'all check out this fruit and vegetable i got here we got cabbage we got mango we got cucumber i got a little bit of ginger just because she was cute i got some red bell pepper carrots too got some shaved carrots right here everything is going to be vibrant and fabulous and fun let me show you all these fresh herbs we got Oh, cilantro and mint. These are gonna go in there as well. Now, like I said, if you don't got all these ingredients, that's okay and that's all right. Just use what you got. Use whatever vegetables you got in your fridge, but make sure to just balance it out and really try to get that rainbow color in there. All right, my love. So like I said, we are going to assemble our rainbow tuna summer rolls. And the best way to do that, actually, look, it has a little chunk missing out of her. All right, the best way to do that, grab yourself one of these, dip it in some hot water, which is what I'm doing right here. Give it a nice little twist around. And you can see she's already starting to get nice and malleable, nice and clear. And then what I like to do is, first and foremost, I like to add in my noodles, just because they give a good solid base. Look at these little noodles right here. Good solid base right in the middle. And then I'm gonna add in my tuna as well. Yes, yes. I'm adding like two pieces in this first one just because I want her to shine, shine, baby. Shine bright, shine for you a star. I don't know if y'all ever watched, um, I don't remember what, what movie it was called. I think it was like Super Size. No, it wasn't called Super Size Me. That's a documentary about McDonald's. But this movie had Tyra Banks in it. It was shine bright, shine for, uh, be a star. Shine bright, shine for who you are. Something like that. Life Size, boom, that's the name of the movie. Life Size with Lindsay Lohan and Tyra Banks. I cannot tell y'all how many times I watched that movie. It was craziness. All right, so like I said, you can fill it up with whatever you want. I'm adding cucumber. I'm adding a pretty decent amount of my cucumber. I'm adding in some red bell peppers. And then of course, some of that purple cabbage. You're just adding in dynamic color, my loves. And then that carrot too. Oh, and y'all thought this was it? No, we gotta add in some of that mint in here. Yes, give it that little bit of freshness and some cilantro, boom. Just adding in all of those dynamic flavors and then we get to dip it in that peanut sauce, my loves. All right, so now the key to rolling your rainbow tuna summer roll, I like to always grab from the bottom and roll it on in and then grab the sides Boom, just like a little taco in a way. <laughs> Rainbow tuna summer taco. And then I am gathering the sides. Oh, and there she is, perfect. Y'all, look at her. Rainbow tuna summer roll. Feel the flavor in your soul. You can see that tuna we made. You can see those rice noodles right there. Check it out, she is nice and juicy. I'm gonna make like 10 more of this. 
All right, so like I said, you're gonna be filling these up, my loves. Dip it into your hot water. My king, baby, my love. He can't hear me, he got headphones on. Do you mind taking some photos? My love's been working on some music, y'all. And can I tell them you just booked a movie? I'm not gonna tell them one movie, but Ace Boogie, hey. He just booked a movie, Ace Boogie. If y'all don't know, Ace Anderson, my beloved husband, best friend, photographer, he is an incredibly talented actor and uh, he just booked a movie, like literally auditioned for it yesterday and then they were like, you're perfect, we love you. And he booked another thing too. So I was like, you just go on with yourself, go on with yourself. All right, so I'm filling up my rainbow tuna summer roll with my tuna. Yeah, make sure that tuna, everybody sees that tuna. You, you proud of that tuna that you made today. All right, and then fill it up with some cucumbers. And I love adding either mango or avocado or pineapple even. Just something that's going to give it a nice, sweet, bright color. Oh, and y'all, this mango is delicious. I ate some of it earlier. All right, so I'm adding in my red onion, my red bell peppers. And then my carrots in here as well. And then I always add in that mint and that cilantro in there too, my loves. So get that mint, because these are all just gonna be more dynamic flavors, my loves. That's really what you wanna create anytime. You're not just making vegan food, but like you making food for royalty, because like you're royalty, you deserve to eat this. So I'm gonna roll this on in. Oh, these are gonna be so freaking fresh, y'all. Rainbow tuna, so fresh. Rainbow tuna, whoa. Rainbow tuna, summer rolls. Roll it into, look at that beautiful, isn't she so cute? Baby, doesn't that look like tuna? Straight up, straight up, y'all. They're tuna. Y'all be like, oh, I thought she was vegan. And I'm like, I thought so too, but I mean, I can't. This is just what it is. It looks so much like tuna that I don't know, but I am 100% vegan and y'all saw that this is made out of tomatoes, okay? So actually this is gonna get in my way, so I'm just gonna put that in there. All right, let's make two more of these. All right, so dip your paper into your hot water and make, sometimes your hot water can get a little less hot and as you can see that as it doesn't stay hot, then you're gonna need to boil it a little bit more or you know, just heat up some more hot water to make sure that your rice paper is nice and malleable. All right, so like I said, add in those noodles to fill it on up. There we go, yes, give it that nice base so it can all stand strong. And then grab your tuna pieces. Oh, this is a nice juicy piece right here. And then make sure those are staying on the outside because you want people to see how proud you are of your rainbow tuna. And then those cucumbers, that mango or avocado, if you got that. And then people also sometimes add in like, uh, you know, mushrooms in this. If you wanna do the exact same thing that you did to the tuna with the mushrooms, you can do that too. Maybe you wanna skip out on the carrots. I wouldn't, cause you know, carrots are fabulous and delicious. That mint. We're just trying to get every single color up in here, my loves. That's why it's called rainbow. Everything I try to eat is rainbow-tastic, my loves. All right, so I'm gonna roll this baby up. She is beautiful. Look at this. Look at her colors. Look at her nourishment. And all of these colors, guess what, y'all? These are all gonna go inside your body and give you your nourishment for your spirit and your soul. All right, there we go. Oh, they're just coming out so beautiful, y'all. I'm so proud, so proud. All right, I think I'm gonna make one more. I think that's how many more I can fit onto my little plate. And then I think we'll be ready to feast, my loves. Rainbow tuna summer roll. Feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer roll. Feel the flavor, feel the flavor. Feel the flavor in your soul. Whoa. We just went to Broadway and back. We went to Disney, we did everything just then. We went to Las Vegas to see the show. That was a lot, y'all, that was a lot, but. Feel the flavor in your soul. Ooh, feel the flavor in your soul. Feel the flavor in your soul. Oh, oh, oh. Rainbow tuna summer roll. Oh, oh, oh. 
rainbow to a summer roll. I cut up a lot of vegetable today, y'all. So uh, I'm gonna have to start fitting these into something. Listen, oh my goodness. All right, so I got my mango in here, and I love that cabbage. I really think the cabbage is key whenever you're making these, just because it adds in that pop of purple, and y'all know I love purple. I'm not wearing purple today, but I love purple. I wear purple pretty much every freaking day, and honestly, it's because Ace and I did a photo shoot, and then after that photo shoot, we were like, we just gonna make all of One Great Vegan's colors like purple and fun, and I just love purple, so. I always try to incorporate it in my recipes as well. All right, my love, so this is the last rainbow tuna summer roll I'm gonna be making for y'all. I'm gonna roll it on into the inside. The sides won't get nice and tucked on in. And then just like a burrito, rainbow tuna summer roll burrito. Whoa, there we go. Another one, our last one is ready to go. And so you, Obviously, these would be great by themselves. Look at how cute they are. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Look at all that color, y'all. Look at this vibrancy going on in here. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of her. Oh, my beloved. All right, so this would be great, obviously, if this is just how we're going to leave it. But this is not how we're going to leave it. So what I like to do is, and you can do this a bunch of different ways. If you want to, and I'll show y'all, I'll actually show y'all how to do it because we had a cooking class today. So what I have here is a plate. I have some sesame seeds, and I'm just going to lay out a nice um, sheet of sesame seeds. And I love, do you mind giving some photos of this real quick? <laughs> I want people to see how cool this is because it's going to give it a nice texture on the outside of these. So I have my rainbow tuna summer roll, and then you're just gonna, because the outside is already sticky, you're just gonna roll it in your sesame seeds, and it's gonna give it a nice little texture on the outside. Boom. And I'm gonna do this to two of them, just to give it like the off and on kind of vibe to it. You know, some of them got it, some of them don't. Ooh, this one's falling apart. Ooh, oh, she fell apart. So sometimes this happens, they fall apart. It's okay, baby, that's good, you just got one. Sometimes they fall apart, and I'll show y'all what you can do whenever your, uh, if your summer rolls fall apart. So get yourself your little thing right there. We're gonna repair her. <laughs> so get yourself another one of your rice papers. Get her nice and wet. But honestly, sometimes you don't wanna get her as wet as the other one was. This way she'll be more easier, a little bit more firm to work with. All right, there we go. And so I like to always, if it's injured, she has a little wound, she's busting at the seams. I like to lay that side down first and then just roll it back on in. So basically you are double rolling this rainbow tuna summer roll to make sure that all of those pieces stay inside. Come on, girl, get in there, get in there. Rainbow tuna, get in there, rainbow tuna, get in there. All right, so I repaired her. There she is. She's fixed. Oh, there she goes. I'm going to roll her in my sesame seeds just so you can't see her wounds, okay? We're going to cover this on up, and you won't be able to see none of that. All right, check it out, my loves. Look at this. I rolled it in my sesame seeds. Almost looks like a piece of corn. And that is how we're going to leave that one. All right. There we go. Oh, these are beautiful little friends. Look at them. So what I did is I did two rolled in the sesame seeds and the two were left naked. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, y'all know I love a little bit of freshness. You know I love all my little elements that go into this. So the next thing we're gonna do is get yourself some crushed peanuts, go right alongside that zesty peanut dipping sauce. And you're just gonna sprinkle these on over just like that. Sometimes they get cut in the crevices of these and I like to spread them out. Boom, just get that on in there. She's like, I don't want peanuts on me. Sometimes these peanuts don't stick to it. Boom, there she goes, beautiful. And then obviously finish it off with a little bit of freshness, my loves. And I'm gonna be finishing it off with some green onion. You can use that mint if you want to. You can use cilantro as well. But for me, I'm gonna be using some of this green onion. And I'm just sprinkling it on top, just like 
that, my loves. Look at how beautiful she is. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Spread the green out so it looks normal and beautiful. I like to make sure that my greenery is spread out and falling apparently all over the floor. It's spread out throughout my meal. That way you can see all of that goodness. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my dipping sauce. I'm gonna pour it on in. And then actually I'm gonna have my beloved best friend, Ace Anderson, take some photos of these while I make myself another one. All right, let me actually get this water nice and hot so I can be prepared. All right, so in goes your dipping sauce into its beautiful little container. Oh, she's gonna be so delicious. All right, my loves, and there we go. Let me see where I can get her to look. There we go. I'm gonna position it so it looks beautiful. Oh, there we go. Aha! Ha, I see how it is. I gotta spread these pieces out. Sometimes they stick to each other, but that's okay. She still looks beautiful. Oh, Yo, look at this! Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. Y'all check it out, check it out. All right, I'm gonna get Ace Anderson to take some beautiful photos of this. And meanwhile, y'all, I'm gonna make myself another one. My love, do you mind getting photos of this, baby? I'm going to put this over here. Uh, um, yeah, you know, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. If Whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. We're trying to decide if you take photos now or later. What y'all think? What you think, baby? Later? What was that? Alright y'all, well we're gonna take photos in a little bit. So meanwhile, I'm gonna make another one of these so I can dig on in and have myself my own rainbow tuna summer rolls. So I'm gonna dip this into the hot water just like y'all saw me do earlier. Getting nice and bubbly and boily and delicious. Lay it down flat on your cutting board. I suggest using a cutting board at least. Hopefully that's what you're doing at home. All right, boom, there we go. And then let's add in those rice noodles, create this base. I'm gonna make this a nice juicy one because this is the first thing I've eaten today. This is the first thing I've eaten today. All right, and I got my tuna up in here. Let me add in a few pieces. Feels like I, they just never stop coming. I've made so many pieces of these that I don't know why. It just feels like it's in the never ending uh, tomato tuna situation. All right, in go my juicy pieces of cucumber and then some of that red pepper. I wanna show y'all how beautiful it is going to be when we take this apart. Oh, I'm filling this up real good. All right, in goes that purple, that splash, and then that carrot in there, of course. And then some mint, fresh mint, fresh mint, fresh mint. Fresh mint. All right, there we go. In goes that cilantro. And then let's just roll this baby up so I can get to munching. Oh, this one I may have made a little too big, y'all. I may have been made too big for my own britches. All right, let's try to roll it. Let's try, let's try, let's try, let's try. Let's see, she gonna make it? She gonna make it? Oh, she made it, yes! Rainbow tuna summer roll. Feel the flavor in your soul. All right, I'm gonna get some of my dipping sauce too, y'all. I keep getting my hands. I told y'all this was a messy situation for your hands, okay? All right, so let me get myself some sauce. Um, I'm literally just gonna dip it in here because y'all, it's, you know, it's Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. I'm just gonna dip it on there, come on in. Okay. All right, y'all ready? Time to dig in. Mm-hmm. Look at that. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, the mango. Put the mango in here. I swear, y'all better put the mango in here. It is so delicious. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm gonna get another bite and y'all gonna get to watch me eat because this is so freaking fabulous. The tuna with this peanut sauce, with the freshness, with the... I, I am shook. This is honestly the best I've ever made. <laughs> and what a day to do it. Mm, cheers, my loves. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that was an exp like a religious experience I just had. It was so freaking delicious. But y'all, check out these rainbow tuna summer rolls that I just made and I just ate. They are so good. And you can eat like 10 of these and you won't feel bad about yourself because it's literally vegetables. Ooh, and seasoning, my loves. All right, y'all. Well, I have had so much fun cooking and showing y'all how to make some vegan tuna and that peanut sauce. There's so much food in my teeth right now. I can feel it and hopefully you can see it as well, my loves. So I will see you all next Saturday up in the kitchen doing what you do and doing what I do, cooking, singing, making fabulous, fierce, fresh food. And I don't actually know what we're making next week. Probably gonna be a little fun dessert. I'm thinking churros, so y'all stay tuned for that. And I had so much fun, my loves. I will see you all next week and it should be a great time, my loves. Goodbye. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. Rainbow tuna summer rolls. Feel the flavor in your soul. I hope y'all feed your spirits and your souls and get your glow on, my loves. Bye.